Alright, just a quick update here on the uh, 99 S10, redoing this front end on this thing. I uh, finally got the uh, radiator core support out of it. Uh, it was uh, kind of a major job to get that out there with the fenders still on there. You can see the fenders. I had to do, uh, I just bent these back, I mean, uh, to get that thing up out of there. Cause I really didn't want to have to take these fenders off if I didn't have to. Cause uh, just basically, guys, trying to fix this thing up for a good winter beater. Uh, so it's not definitely not going to be the prettiest looking vehicle, but it uh, hopefully will be able to get her back up and running, and uh, be able to use this thing for a winter winter vehicle to get back and forth to work and stuff for her and uh hopefully i can get this done i don't know it's uh so far it's been quite a bit of a challenge uh it was quite a bit of a challenge getting that uh core support out of there i had some bolts <clears throat> down in here i had one that was rusted and i couldn't turn it so i had to cut it off and i had another one here somewhere i can't oh it was right in here too uh, another bolt in that area uh couldn't get that out had to cut it out and uh the rest of the bolts come out of there but uh on this side this side here they all come out i didn't have any issues uh getting the bolts out on this side uh because you got a lot of bolts up underneath here there's like three four or five of them in this area and you had these two here on the side. You can see I bent that back so I could get that uh so I could pull that out without uh taking the fenders off, trying to do this as quick as possible uh to get this thing back on the road uh before uh the real winter start uh real cold weather starts hitting and the snow and stuff. Uh, I'm trying to get this thing done for the winter time. Um uh, Cause other than that, guys, it's a it was a good running vehicle. Like I said, the motor was running real good in it. Transmission, uh, we just put a new or a rebuilt uh, transfer case in it, and uh, new tires. Uh, had put new uh, control arms on the front, and uh, had the front end aligned. Uh, like I said, it's not going to be the prettiest thing. It's going to have a yellow hood on it for a while. Don't know if I'll ever repaint it or not. Uh, like I said, just trying to get this thing back up on the road there, guys. So I thought I'd put out a quick video there uh, on uh, getting this uh, on where I'm at on the uh, progress on uh, get, trying to get this thing back together and up on the road again there, guys. So... Anyways, guys, uh, we'll uh, put some other videos out on it there uh, as we uh, progress a little bit farther on it. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to try to get the uh, try to get the uh, used uh, radiator core support. See if I can get it down, fit down in there tomorrow, and uh, just start putting a few things to, uh, back together there, guys. Uh, Probably going to take me uh, several days to get this thing uh, back together where it's uh, where I'm able to drive it out on the road again. Get the lights back in it and all that stuff. Get the wiring harness. Had to take that wiring harness. Uh, had to loop it down through here. Down through this way. Through the, uh, uh, through the radiator core support. And then I had to take out the uh, front. Uh, there's a power steering uh, cooler set that comes around the front. In order to get the wires through there, I had to take that power steering cooler, uh, had to take it out. So on that other one that I'm going to put in there, I'll have to take that uh, power steering uh, power steering cooler that runs around the front here. I'll have to take that out of the uh, the one that I'm getting ready to put in before I put this back in there. And uh, that way I can get these uh, 
because there's a lot of wires a lot of wire looms that uh, go through that little there's a little hole there that you got to go through on that core support and then wrap it around to this other side for the headlights and uh uh see some other uh headlights turn lights and uh some other things over on this side and uh and i also got a lot of ground wires i had to unhook on each side and uh i guess that's about it uh like i said it was quite a bit of a job getting that getting that up out of there as you can see it bent that had to bend that a little bit to get it up out of there hopefully i can bend some of this stuff back like i said it's not going to be the prettiest thing this side here has really got me worried though uh i mean this fender here is really in bad shape as you can see it's not very good shape so i don't know if i'm gonna have to replace that or not I'm, i was kind of hoping i wouldn't have to because not sure what all I'm going to get into taking this fender off. Uh, like I said, I was trying to do this as quick as possible to get this thing back up on the road there. So, so there you have it, guys. We'll uh, keep you informed, I guess. I guess I'll make some other videos there as uh, as I get pro more progression, uh, pro progressive on this uh, here. Uh, this project I got going on to 99 Blazer there, guys. So we'll catch you on the next one.